There we are. <laughs> Reclining. Looks like he's in a kid's car seat. <laughs> <laughs> like he's just got into someone's car and just sat there naked, <laughs> waiting for them to come back from the shops like that. <laughs> uh, none of this actually happened. It is a sketch. I mean, what about the the theme tune then? Well, you, I can probably, I probably can't play all of it. I could try and yodel it. You, you, you yodel the first bit, and I'll do the last bit. Right, it? You would loot, loot, you would loot, loot. You literally never listen to it. It doesn't go do loot, loot, do loot. What show have you been watching? Oh, at the end it goes. Well, what about we go? Da, 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 you're surprisingly good at Countdown. Uh, take a look at your When opponent. you say surprisingly, what do you mean to me? I, I was surprised at how good you were. Why were you surprised at how good I was? Because of how you talk. How <laughs> <laughs> <As> you were. <laughs> do you think you're going to win against these two? The only chance we're going to lose... I'm quite good at the letters, I'm all right, but numbers is my... I'm much better on the words than I am on the numbers. I'll prove it to you, Jimmy. Think of a number between one and ten. Don't tell me. Think of it. OK. OK. <laughs> and reveal it now. Seven. <laughs> See? Not very good with numbers. <laughs> <laughs> but words and letters. OK, let's make this interesting. Think of a number between one and a thousand. Any number you like. Yeah. Do you want to change your mind? <laughs> <laughs> He's in my head. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Johnny? In my underpants. <laughs> Have a little route around in there. <laughs> It's in the pants. Oh, oh don't... yeah. Oh, the, oh, the, the pants. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was in your anus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we found it. Is that a se... <laughs> Why would you smell that, Johnny? What... I've been told I smell better from behind than I do from the front. <laughs> so, that bit in between... You, you, what, sorry, you smell I'm, more... I'm wondering what if do you I do, can sorry? trap the journey. <laughs> from... He smells better from behind than he does from the front. <laughs> no, lovers have told me. <laughs> lovers have told me. Date myself. night, if I come in the room backwards, it helps to maintain the mood. You may or may not know that I am a, uh, a father, Jimmy. I have um, three children, all legally mine, and um, <laughs> I like them all very much. And I think the feeling's mutual because I'm a fun dad. Uh, I'm always thinking of fun things and fun activities for them to do. For example, my son, Nat, he was asking me how they do the special effects in movies the other day. So I got out my green screen and I said, right, I'm going to show you how they uh, do the effect of an evil spirit possessing a boy while he's having breakfast. And this is what we shot. If you could bring something extinct back to life, what would it be? Well, hmm. <laughs> glad you asked me, Jimmy. <laughs> First off, I thought, oh, I'd like to do Jurassic Park hmm. and make it safe. <laughs> I'd take all their teeth and nails out. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex with no teeth, it'd just be like. Ong, 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 ong. <laughs> 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 and then I had a brilliant idea. If I could reanimate something, I'd reanimate all the leaders of the Nazi party, all the top Nazis. Uh, just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, everyone. <laughs> Shut up, everyone. That's the end of his career. <laughs> no sheen. No, 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 no. <laughs> no sheen. Would you say you have a broad vocabulary, oh, yeah. Roshi? <laughs> you can't leave it there! <laughs> <laughs> we can 
that's just the end of Sean's career, it doesn't matter. He's had a wonderful career, years in the business, and then he brought back the Nazis. <laughs> Rasheen, would you say you, you, you've got a broad... No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you got... Put them all on an island. Sorry, who? Put all the Nazis, <laughs> the top Nazis, put them on an island and then film it. Oh. Ooh. And people would love that, wouldn't it? And you go like, oh, Goebbels hasn't caught any fish today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hitler's very hungry. <laughs> Yeah. Well, if anything, it got worse after I stopped him. <laughs> <laughs> it got so much worse. Now, Goebbels, you said, want to send him fishing on a desert island. I want to take the Nazis, I want to reanimate them and put them in paradise. <laughs> it's what they deserve. No, they don't get any supplies. They've got to fend for themselves. Has, he, has this show got a name? Yeah, Nazi Island. <laughs> <laughs> Whose book was that? Um, that was the uh, Lee Mack biography. What's that? What have you done? Nothing. <laughs> I was reading it, but once I read it, I was destroying the evidence. <laughs> it's not like you to be shredding paperwork in case you get followed on with it. <laughs> <laughs> Just my accountant said it'd be a good idea, yeah. <laughs> Roisin. Have you, have you got a mascot? Yes. What have you got? Well, really good mascot, actually, because I've had not a lot of luck on the show with mascot. <laughs> but I've discovered a thing that's brought me a lot of luck, actually, sort of brings, makes, you, makes your dreams come true, and it's called, um, Queen Head Paper. <laughs> <laughs> and with this magic Queen Head Paper, um, you ask for things, and then when you sh give them your lucky Queen Head Paper, you get the things. <laughs> you think about them, you just give them the Queen Head Paper, and then yeah, they it's manifest. Yeah, it's luck, they're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be like, oh, Rachel, can I get some vowels? They're the wrong ones. And some lucky queen head paper. <laughs> Change those vowels right up. You like lucky queen head paper, so I think... Yeah, I had to give quite a lot of it back to the queen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm lucky I'm on the show, because then I'm about to give some back to yeah. you. Well, I think you can tell a, good, a leader by their hair. That's my philosophy. I mean, like, look at Donald, <laughs> Donald Trump. Incredible hair, great leader. Um, Branson, big hair. String fellow. I mean, I wouldn't call him a leader. Is he... Do, do you follow him? Sort of spiritually. <laughs> it's a great shame he's never had a mention in the honours list. Mm. To services... To... to Dean Gaffney. Services to <laughs> Dean Gaffney. <laughs> <laughs> Giving Dean Gaffney something to do. <laughs> <laughs> I met Dean recently in a hotel in Newport, in Wales. What was he serving breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> I was at a hotel in Newport and Dean was there. We had a nice chat. He told me I could get free drinks. <laughs> how, how do you get free drinks in...? I don't know, he didn't say, he just raised his eyebrows and went, free drinks here. <laughs> and uh, I went, cheers, Dean. He seemed like a nice chap. And uh, we went our separate ways. Did he have his little cart with him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, he said I could get free massage, not free drinks. <laughs> 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 so Dean Gaffney offered you a massage? He may have been offering me a massage, but I took it that he meant in the health centre I could get a free <laughs> massage. I don't... Why would Dean come up to me and go, free massage later? <laughs> of the eyebrows afterwards suggested it might be more of a... Trouble is, Holly, I'm, I'm a naturally sexual person, so I, I didn't mean to convey it was a lewd eyebrow raising. It's just when I do it, I can't help it be sexual. <laughs> if Sean did it, it'd probably be better. Just say free massage and raise your eyebrows. Free massage? Yeah, it was like that. <laughs> <laughs> you do like this? Free massage. <laughs> I didn't even meet Dean Gaffney. <laughs> <laughs> Straight into my trap. <laughs> Let's not call it your trap, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I've always called it my trap. <laughs> Sean, um, please don't do anything right wing. Um... <laughs> it's very easy to make uh, judgments about bringing all the top Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> 
been suggesting that it was done in a um, obscene political way. It's very easy and judgmental. And I expect better from you, Jimmy. Would they have currency on the island? No, they just have to thrive by <laughs> their cunning, their natural They're cunning and skills. They are cunning. <laughs> Say what you want about them, they are cunny fuck cunny fuckers. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I brought it up again. Can um, you imagine? <laughs> what was what are you that? doing there? <laughs> Hitler trying to get up a coconut tree to get a coconut. Do you remember that time Millions. you mimed Hitler shimmying up a coconut tree? <laughs> Sean, have you got a mascot? Oh, if it's, yes, it's, it's Goebbels, I'm going to lose my mind.